I'm going to do a quick little uh, lesson here about density. So density has a couple of things. One is there's little logic questions, and we're going to see those in a moment, talking you know without numbers. And then we have mathematical equations. And then when we do the mathematical questions, uh, we have a couple of parts to it. A way we really like to show the work, and it's called AISA. And in AISA, we have to write down the information. Okay, write down the equation. And to do the equation, sometimes we use the uh, density triangle. Then we substitute numbers into the equation and uh, write out the answer. Now, a lot of times when you're going to write out, you know, just doing naturally the way you show your work, uh, you would do these last two for sure if you're, you know, good and you're doing the equation also. So this is really pretty just a natural way that you solve problems. And the last part here is this little density triangle, which turns out to be really useful for some people to get the equation. Okay, so we'll see that part. So let's take an example. And uh, one example here would be, okay, we have a cube 1 and cube 2. So cube 1 has a mass of 5 kilograms, cube 2 has a mass of 20 kilograms. If they occupy the same volume, uh, which one has a greater density? Okay, so we have volumes and we have their masses. Greater density. So one good easy way to think about this here is think about how compact a substance is. The more compact it is, the denser it is. So you look at these two and say, well, which one's more compact? And this one. Okay, here we have 20 grams of mass, okay, into that little cube. Here we only have 5 grams of mass in that little cube. So this guy is more compact, and so therefore there's a greater density. Now you could also do some kind of a calculation and say, you know, since we know density is mass over volume, greater mass in the same volume would make it more dense. But thinking about how compact it is, I think that's useful. Okay, second one. Uh, liquid mercury has a density of uh, 13.546 grams per milliliter. And what is the mass of a 5 milliliter sample of mercury? Okay, so the idea here would be to go back, and again over here we're saying AISA, write down the information. So we know the density, and the density is 13.546 grams per milliliter. And what says the mass what is the mass? Okay, so that means we're looking for mass. So mass is involved, but we don't know what it is. And we see 5.0 milliliters, milliliters, milliliters is a volume. So that's a clue there. The unit gives us a clue on which variable that is. So the volume is 5.0 milliliters. Now one thing to watch out for here, if you're looking at it, it says the mass of 5.0 milliliters. Sometimes when you see that in a problem, because the word mass and that number are so close to each other, you might think that's the mass, and be careful about that. So it says, what is the mass? So we know mass is our question mark, and you just have to recognize that milliliters is a volume. So we have D and M and V. Okay, so um, here we're looking for the mass. So we're looking for the mass. So that means that the equation is going to be mass equals density times volume, and that's how our density triangle works. So the second part of this, density, no mass, is equal to density times volume, okay, so whichever part we want to look for, okay, keep that, that, that equals, and if these are next to each other, that's times, if I was going to do, um, like, density, if I were doing density, then I'd say density is equal to mass divided by volume, but right now we're doing mass equals density times volume, okay, let's go back and substitute in, so we have just done I, we wrote down our information, and then we did E, we got our equation, and now we're going to do S, we're going to substitute in, so the density is 13.546 grams over milliliters, and the volume is 5.0 milliliters. Now milliliters are on the top, milliliters are on the bottom, they're going to cancel out. We're left with grams. Grams is a mass, so we are definitely on the right track. Okay, last thing here is A, get the answer. And I'm getting 67.73 grams as my answer. Now for practice, if I were trying to do uh, significant figures, I would say, okay, this one has two significant figures. That has five. I want my answer to have two. So I would cut it off here, but because that's a 7, I'm going to round it up. 
So my actual answer I would write down is 68 grams. So 68 grams are the right number of significant figures. Calculate answer 67.73. And that's one of these problems. Let's try another example. Aluminum has a density of 2.70 grams per cubic centimeter. What's the volume that, ha that a 10.5 gram sample of aluminum? So what do we have? We have a density. So we can say density equals 2.70 grams per cubic centimeter. That's a good one. Okay, so what do I do with that 10.5? 10.5, that is a mass. Okay, grams are mass. So I know my mass. 10.5 grams, and it's saying what is the volume, so volume is what I'm looking for, so D and M and V, I'm looking for my volume, okay, I'm looking for my volume, so that's going to be mass divided by density, so my equation here is going to be volume equals mass divided by density, okay, so I've just done I by my information, I've got E, using the density triangle I have my equation, I'm going to substitute in, 10.5 grams divided by 2.70 grams per cubic centimeter. And you can see that the grams are going to drop out. Centimeters on the bottom, if I invert and multiply, I'm going to end up with cubic centimeters as my answer. Now I'll just use my calculator. I get 3.888 cubic centimeters, and it's repeating. I have uh, three significant figures here, three significant figures here. I want three significant figures here. So I'm going to say 3.88, but since that next number is an 8, I'm going to round up. So my answer to the right significant figures is 3.89 cubic centimeters. Okay, now it's a chance for you to go back and think about these here. So pause the uh, tutorial and try these problems, and we'll come back and, tr and get the answers. Q1 and Q2 have the same mass, but Q1 has a greater density, so that means it's more compact. So which one has a larger volume? Okay, If Q1 has a greater density, that means it's more compact, so it fits into a small volume, Okay, whereas Q2 would fit into a bigger volume, so the answer here is Q2. Second one, gold has a density of 19.3. grams per cubic centimeter. What is the volume that has a mass of 125 grams? And I had to figure that out because it says G and I know G is grams. So density triangle, I know that D, M, V. Okay, I'm looking for my volume. So volume is equal to mass divided by density. That's 125 grams over 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Grams drop out. And so my answer, I get 6.47668. And that's going to be cubic centimeters. Okay, I've got three significant figures. I got three significant figures. I want three significant figures. So my final answer is going to be 6.4, and I'm going to make that an 8 because this guy makes it round up. Cubic centimeters. And that's how we do those kind of problems.